Hey there, happy Monday to you. It's been three weeks since I came to you by video, three weeks ago encouraging you to push through the difficult times. Since that time, you've pushed through. You're still here and life still might be difficult, but God is still with you. You know, my intention three weeks ago was to come to you every single Monday with hopefully something encouraging to share. But you know what I've learned in the last three weeks? We don't have a lot of control over our schedule, do we? I had situations arise every Monday that limited me from sitting down and talking in front of this camera like I'm doing right now. And you know, I've also learned that that has to be okay. We have to be willing to let our schedule change in ways that we don't like, because God can still do great things even during that time. So I will let you know now, my hope is to be back with you next Wednesday. Next Wednesday, ooh, am I predicting what's actually gonna happen, that Monday's gonna be crazy? Well, my hope is to be back with you next Monday, and we'll see. But enough of that. Here's the reason why I wanted to come to you today. It's been a topic that's actually been stirring in my heart for the past couple weeks, and it connects with New Year's resolutions. Did you make one? But here we are in February, and studies indicate that only a few percentage of people are still on those resolutions. So my next question is, did you resolve to read the Bible this year? If you did, that's awesome. If you didn't, today's the day you could start. Now, you know, a lot of people decide they're going to do a one-year Bible plan, which is great to have a plan. However, just a few minutes ago, I talked to you about how my plan that I had for the last few Mondays didn't work out and I needed to be okay with that. So today I want to encourage you, number one, to read your Bible every single day, but number two, to be gracious with yourself if you can't stick with the plan that you thought was going to work out for you. The first time I decided to read through the Bible straight through was about 20... Uh, 20 years ago, I think is when I did it. I selected a version that was understandable to me and I made a, I made a commitment to myself that every single day I would read two chapters of the Bible. No matter how long or how short they were, I would read two chapters. And any verse that resonated to me, I would write down the, the scripture passage. That was my goal, two chapters a day until it was done. And you wanna know what? It revolutionized my life. I saw things in ways I had never seen before. And it set me on a course to do it again. So when I was done the first time, I picked another version and I did it all over again. I tried to do the year, the one year Bible one time and it was an utter failure for me. It was impossible for me to keep up with the schedule that was, that was listed for me to make it through to the end of the year. And being a goal-oriented person, that was a little bit tough. So again, I want to remind you, reading the Bible is in, a, in a year isn't what's crucial. Reading the Bible is what I believe to be necessary. So since that time, my Bible reading has slowed down big time. Not meaning it doesn't happen just discovered that the more you're willing to open your heart to the things that God is saying to us through the scriptures, the more you're going to be amazed at what you read. So I'm in the book of Leviticus. If you've been reading Leviticus at all, you might say, well, that's why she's slowed down because she's reading the book of Leviticus. Now, the reason why I'm so slowed down is because of Leviticus 19 verse 2. If you look it up in your Bible, it's probably going to use the word holy that we are being called to be holy. The scripture um, version that I have been reading uses the phrase set apart. God was calling the Israelites to be set apart. In the midst of, of chapter after chapter of rules and regulations and details and diddles and dots and all these things that we were, that the Israelites were being told not to do. And some of them, whew, a little bit, uh, I made my eyes open to, to read some of that. In the middle of all of that, in Leviticus 19, 2, God was telling the Israelites, and believe he is still telling us today, that we are to live set apart. So what I found when I read that, I couldn't even get past 
verse two. I couldn't even read verse three for five days because every time I would get to that point, I would start to ask myself, what does it mean to be set apart? What does that mean in today's life to be set apart? Set apart from the world? Set apart from thought processes that don't fall in line with where we know we need to be? What does it mean to be set apart? After about five days of pondering that, I was finally able to read Leviticus 19 verse 3 and beyond and have since moved on, but I haven't forgotten that notion of being set apart. And so as you read the scriptures, I want to encourage you to every day open your Bible, but not get, get hard on yourself if you don't get very far. What you want to do is hear what God has to say to you. Now, this wasn't the first time I'd read Leviticus chapter 19. Um, I don't know how many times I've read Leviticus chapter 19, but this was the first time I found myself so struck by it that I couldn't even move on until I researched it a little bit more, until I pondered it, until I asked God what that meant. And you know what? It's something I'm still doing right now. So if you find yourself struggling to keep up with that one-year Bible schedule, or if you even find yourself struggling to get through a few chapters per day, Pull yourself back. Don't allow yourself to feel shame over that. And instead, ask God, what do you want to teach me today? What do you want to show me in this verse that I'm going to read? Maybe I'm only going to read a couple verses, but how do you want to open my mind? And how do you want to open my heart? How do you want to change me? So as I close, I again just want to encourage you in your day, in your struggles, and remind you that God has called you to be unique. He's called you to be different it means we're going to deal with some difficult situations, both surrounding us and internally. I don't know about you, but I have mental battles that happen all the time. But if we step each day with a desire to be that set apart person that God has called us to be, I really believe we're gonna see amazing things because of it. We are his servants, we're called to do great things, and you have a definite purpose.